Can't tell you where you're going. Can't tell you for how long. Nothing you've done, nothing you're ever going to do counts now. Only the next few hours. Tonight, you're going to find your souls. I am Wayne Norad. I'm a retired Chief Master Sergeant. I was a combat controller for many years in the Air Force, and I actually was uh, selected and became the AFSOC Senior Enlisted Advisor was the term then. And then I retired from the Air Force on January 97, and I've been working here at Herbert Field since then. I went through basic training, and my first job in the Air Force was, um, I call it weapons mechanic. I was a B-52 bomb loader. I liked being a B-52 bomb loader. The people that I worked with were great, but uh, I wanted to see more of the Air Force, be more in the action. And it wasn't until I came to Hurlburt in 1970, playing volleyball, and I met some combat controllers here and talked to a couple of guys at the NCO club and uh, found out what they did. And I said, ah, that's what I want to do. And I went back and put my papers in and, and retrained and never looked back. I was the guy that uh, recommended the V device for accommodation medals and achievement medals. And I think added on, it went on to uh, aerial achievement and so on. But I was very, very disappointed in Operation Just Cause when a bunch of my guys from the 23rd STS jumped in under fire. There was one guy in particular, it was a staff sergeant named Gordy Tully, and Gordy was asked to clear an extra 1,000 feet of the runway. And he was a guy that jumped in at 500 feet, being shot at under canopy, does this additional job, and I just thought there should be something else other than just accommodation medal for this type of action, and now, the, the V's that you see on the accommodation medals, achievement medals, even on Distinguished uh, Flying Cross, they have a V Valor device now. So I'm kind of proud that uh, that all kind of started with, uh, with a suggestion that I put in. We got approved to uh, stand up an AFSOC parachute demonstration team. Um, I called it the STARS, and STARS was Special Tactics and Rescue Specialist. And then in October of 2002, we had done, up to that point, I think 165 or so parachute demonstrations all over the nation. But the war on terror had started and all my jumpers were pararescuemen and combat controllers. It wasn't a separate program, so they were taken out of hide from our regular positions. People say, hey Wayne, when are you gonna retire? Well, I'm not sure yet. I've been around the military for over 45 years now. It's still exciting for me, so I don't know when I'm going to retire. I just like being around uh, Air Commandos and AFSOC and still around the Air Force after all these years. So I think my goal is to make it 50. Until then, as long as I'm still having fun, I'm, I'm sticking with it until my boss fires me. <laughs>